Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about a small issue called capitalism and what we can do about it. Uh, because it's cool and it's good, but it might need an update. My name is Linus. I'll see you on the other side of the intro. Let's go! Hi! Yeah, so diving into capitalism headfirst, uh, let's just break down the fundamentals the way I see it and uh, take it from there. So capitalism has been extremely beneficial for humanity. It's been the, one of the best ideas, I would say, to come from, uh, from humans. Because basically what we have is we have a, a way to have a supply and demand and if the demand isn't there, the supply changes. It's very adaptive, it's very smart, and it makes for booming businesses. So capitalism, capitalism has been really, really awesome, and it, it's made the human standard to soar to the skies. Uh, now, looking forward into the future, there might be some slight changes that we need to fix uh, to this awesome system. Um, uh, so let's let me just pan down and, and take a look at what, what I see as an issue and we can discuss that so uh, Zooming out a bit we have this This slight problem with you know the the earth is getting a bit too hot uh, And that's a problem because if the earth gets too hot uh, You know the realization is that well all the businesses and all the humans uh, and actually all life we know depends on the planet being okay. So the 100% dependency on the single planet is basically the reason why I say capitalism might need to shift how it thinks about business. So uh, let's, let's just uh, load the update and, and go from there, okay? So uh, loading this update, booting it up, looking fresh. Uh, so, uh, basically what we have here is a shift in how we see what is what. So, we already have the, you know, customer-centered organizations. The ones that succeed today are very customer-centered and that's great. Uh, and I just say keep on being that, but also realize that without a functioning world, you know, uh, the customer will be not at all happy, no matter what you try to produce to them. Uh, so if we shift into thinking that, okay, so who is the, who's the real customer here? And uh, I would like to propose to say that in capitalism 2.0, I mean, that's not, you know, having a huge ego of me saying that this is capitalism 2.0. It's just normal thinking. I mean, it's just normal stuff. Uh, Maybe so. Earth is the co-producer where all the materials come from and the whole ecosystem actually lives within Earth, right? And also, if you look at it from the perspective of where does stuff end up in the, in the long run, it's also on Earth. So to 99.999 of all businesses, the Earth is the long-term customer. Uh, so maybe if we label it as that, it can be a bit easier for us to transform how we do business. Uh, so if Earth is the customer, is the co-producer, uh, we realize that all businesses in all of the known universe, as far as we know so far, depends on Earth. Same thing goes for every payer in the whole galaxy, the whole universe, also lives on Earth. So Earth is the spaceship we need to save. Right? So, yeah, we need to look at it from that perspective. And when we do that, you know, as I mean, I, we already started uh, classifying things differently. So let's just keep adding some stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down here, swipe down here. Uh, it's the right modern term. Uh, so what we can see here is uh, we have Earth. It's the customer. It's also a harbor of life. It's the co-producer. 
uh, we have a, an organization that do great stuff, which is Business Incorporated. They're the producer, but we also have, you know, the 100% dependency from the payer. And the payer, you know, this is common business design. Uh, the payer doesn't necessarily use the products. Actually, the payer could uh, pay someone to use it on, on plants or save the forest or whatever. Can also be animals, can be other humans, can be the users. So just, you know, making this a bit more circular in, in our minds. As, I mean, we're already updating the head, so why not go, go a bit further, right? So all I've done here is, you know, adding the kind of the flow of who we need to keep happy without earth nobody's necessarily happy so we have the vip customer there we have which is earth we also have the vip producer which is earth uh, and all corporations on earth are very dependent on it uh, we not we want to have a happy payer uh, so how do we keep them happy well by satisfying the need of the users which can be whatever can be a plant uh, an animal, human, doesn't really matter. As long as they're happy, we make money, which is great. Uh, because the alternative, and so I, I had to do this, I'm sorry, sensitive viewers be advised. You might want to hold your own hands. So uh, what happens if, if we don't change the way we, we look at this? Uh, from my perspective, it's, it's become abundantly clear that, you know, uh, we will not all be 100% dead necessarily, but we will have a very hard time selling things uh, when we have no economical systems, when everything has just broken down to hunter-gatherer kind of uh, situation. So uh, unless we, we see that that's a great future, uh, I think we should you know, try to look ahead uh, a bit into the future and say, okay, I, I get it, I'm gonna try this new thing called circular economy and try to take care of all the things I produce and make sure that we can keep making a lot of money, having fun and creating products that our customer loves, but not only the customer, because Earth is great and all, but maybe the feedback loop is kind of long. So the customer, yeah, satisfied, but the users, we want to make them really happy so that they go say to the payer, hey, keep paying. We love this stuff. This short presentation was from me, Linus Oman. I have a small organization called Disrupt Reimagine, where I help organizations transform into awesomeness. Uh, if you like it, like it. Uh, if you want to hear more, subscribe it. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, and if you want to get to download some of the, these illustrations, I have them on the webpage disrupt.re. Uh, till next time, have a great day. And I hope uh, this uh, sparked some uh, new synapses in your head. Bye for now.